Hi, this is Eric Lucero of Sharpen the Axe on Enter Talk Radio, powered by Pitbull Audio. We're here today with another Pitbull Audio gear preview. We have with us Nick from Line 6. Welcome, buddy. Thank you very much. And in your hands, you got something new in the Variac series, actually, the Shuriken. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, definitely. So with the Shuriken, what we have here is really a product of intense collaboration between Line 6, Yamaha Guitar Development, and artist um, Stevic McKay. So Stevic McKay, um, he's always been a huge Line 6 user. He, um, he One of his most prized possessions of his was his JTV-89. And throughout the years, he's made um, different... Um, you know, modifications to the body and to the style of how it works to, to work more as a tool for himself. Um, because with Variax, it's always been known as a guitar that, hey, you know, if, if I want a Les Paul, if I want an acoustic guitar, if I want a sitar, I don't have to worry about finding those instruments or taking them on the road. I have everything right here in one box. And with Steven, he really likes alternate tunings. He loves, you know, high gain stuff. He also likes to go and do does different acoustic stuff, but he really shines when it comes to alternate tunings. And you'll come to find when looking at the even the tuning knob and the guitar knob as well for modeling, there are many um, different changes as opposed to looking at the uh, um, JTV 89, such as the user banks here. You have um, five up to five user banks right here on the, each knob. And what's great about these user banks is they're actually his designs, his designs of guitars and tunings. You know, there's some um, there's some presets on here where only one string is active, where the rest are muted because in a big dark stage, live crazy environment, he's able to strum and not worry about which strings are fretted and which ones are not. And so he can just play what he needs to. And of course, different tunings specifically for the songs that he writes. So that that's very unique for sure so it's almost like a safety if you're not going to hit a wrong note exactly so he's got a uh, a couple di a couple different unique settings on the tuning side and there's also a few on the guitar model itself side correct exactly and with that in what we have here i have you'll see user one two three and four and in each user bank within the guitar model knob i'll have a guitar where it's all six strings and standard i'll switch because you'll notice there's only one pickup but yeah, I have true. a five-way pickup selector. And the reason why is each different position of the pickup selector is a different model and tuning. So if I'm in a preset, maybe I'm using um, a Line 6 model or like a Firehawk FX, and I have a nice heavy sound, but I want four different tunings within that sound, I don't have to worry about changing my preset. I could just switch the pickup selector and get those different guitar models and tunings. So even the five-way switch there is programmable the same way that the tuning and uh, and guitar model tuning knob is. Essentially, yes. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty unique. And there's some other unique features on this guy I noticed as well. I'm a fan of long scale. This is a 27-inch scale on it, right? Indeed. And so whether you, um, you know, whether you like the feel of thick strings and you are always playing in drop D, or maybe you're a, maybe you're a baritone player, you, you want to tune this to baritone, What's great about Variax technology is that whatever tuning or string tension you like, set it up that way. Because then when it comes to, well, maybe I need something in standard, maybe I need something in a tuning that the guitar isn't tuned in, don't worry about it. You just program it within the tuning knob. If you need standard while it's strung up and tuned to B, it's okay. You just program it to B in standard. And so it's all about what's comfortable for you. I could go from an octave down to baritone to drop D and still be in my 10 gauge strings and standard tuning, because that's what I like. So it is an instrument that's made to be molded by the player and to whatever you need with all the user settings available in the guitar models and the tuning. Exactly. And with the design of it, the instrument itself with a 27 inch scale that can handle oh, yeah. heavier gauge strings if you like. And this, uh, it's still, of course, usable with the Workbench app, correct? Of course. And that's actually um, really where Steven really took off with the whole um, Variax idea. And, you know, he is the perfect poster child for Variax because he really turned Variax into his tool. And you'll notice on the guitar model, of course, you'll see, you know, Lester and Spank, which is Les Paul or a, you know, or a Stratocaster, but you'll notice one that is a Shuriken. Because within the Variax workbench um, uh, software, I could plug this guitar in and I could 
get a strap body and throw less Paul pickups in there, or maybe grab pickups from a Gretsch 6120 and put them in a Strat. You know, that would be a lot of money and a lot of time to do to a traditional guitar, but at home on the on the on the Variac software, it's a lot easy and you know a lot more fun because you know you don't have to ruin a guitar to figure out if it's going to sound good. So with the Shuriken model, he actually brought up a model of a guitar that of, of his choice that he likes and combined pickups and moved them in um, just the right area to get this type of tone that he was looking for when making his shuriken guitar. So when you turn the modeling off, you have your shuriken model, of course, but when you turn the modeling on, maybe you're going for a Les Paul or a Strat or the type of model that he created in the Variax Workbench software, you have it all right there. And so, of course, like you said, it is an instrument um, where it molds to the player. Absolutely, it's a great utility tool. Uh, and it's also awesome that he has a signature modeled guitar on his physical oh, signature yeah. model guitar, which <laughs> is great. But it's all the versatility that we've come to expect from the Variac series with some modern appointments and styling that I'm sure is going to appeal to the contemporary players out there. Definitely. I feel that this is, you know, such a great piece because I feel that we're finally able to have an offering such as this for that genre of music and for that style and so um I'm, we're very excited for it it's going to be a pretty popular product i predict so with all the modeling available you still have what was available on the very axis before such as the lester the spank all that including the new shuriken which uh, stevic designed can we get a can we get a sample of them see how they oh, sound definitely for sure let's do it and also just to add in what's really cool in the tuning area there's an octave he actually not only is this guitar tuned standard but i'm going to go in what um stevic really likes he loves to play an, oc an octave down from standard so um that's what i'm going to do let's start off with um, doing an octave lower and see how that sounds <laughs> So as you can hear, that's a very, very low sound. Yeah, like a bass six, oh, pretty definitely. much, yeah. But what's great is I could switch over to a nice clean sound and flip of a switch, and now we have... Right to a flat top steel sound. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. And there's all kinds of stuff you can bring up with the bench, any combination oh, in thereof, as you uh, mentioned. Of course, this is just the the very, very tip of the iceberg that we're breaking right now. Very awesome. Any, any other sound samples you'd like to give us? Anything of interest? Oh, sure, yeah. Let's go over to maybe, you know, more of a baritone tuning and going through something like a Mesa Boogie, and we have something kind of like this. <laughs> Pinch <laughs> harmonics available. That's pretty awesome. There you go, yeah. <laughs> That's a very awesome sounding. Thank you, Nick. Well, thank you, sir. This has been Eric with the Pitbull Audio Gear Preview. Yeah.